This is Katie Augustine reporting in the WNCT Digital Studio. So Uber is making headlines today. Yesterday they released their U.S. safety report for the first time. It's been long awaited because of some issues in the past with sexual assaults and physical assaults and, and things like that. So they decided to finally compile a report with 2017 and 2018 data, and it has been released. So I'm just going to break down some of those numbers so that you guys can see um, what we're dealing with. So breaking down by year, in 2017, 2,936 sexual assaults occurred, 49 fa fatal vehicle crashes, and there were 10 murders. And then in 2018, 3,045 sexual assaults, 58 people killed in crashes, and 9 murders. Now, something to remember is, although these incidents are very unfortunate, they account for a very, very small fraction of of Uber rides nationally. So for the 2018 data specifically, the incidents account for just 0.0002% of about 1.3 billion rides that occurred in 2018 in the U.S. Another important thing to remember is that Uber stated in terms of the sexual assault cases, drivers reported as assaults about as often as the riders did. So drivers are victims too, and Uber is doing its best right now to look out for both riders and its drivers. And another important note is Uber says these incidents have decreased year over year. They say that in the past two years, they've implemented more safety features than they have in the last eight years combined. Some of those features include an in-app emergency button, ride check, share my trip, real-time driver a ID checks, and even more features. And another initiative Uber has taken is to connect survivors with third-party advocates, like the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. And that's a hotline that provides crisis counseling and information for medical services for those who have been impacted by these sexual assaults. Additionally, Uber has partnered with a number of organizations to create prevention and education campaigns going forward. Uber says it's taking an unusual step by releasing this data, but they believe that by doing so, it's going to face the problem head on. And in a tweet by Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi says, doing the right thing means counting, confronting, and taking action to end sexual assault. My heart is with every survivor in this all too pervasive crime. Our work will never be done, but we take an important step forward today. And we do have the link to the full report in this article on WNCT.com if you're interested in reading that. Reporting in the digital studio, I'm Katie Augustine.